Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. Keith and Danny are off tonight. We begin here at 6 with a teen awaiting trial and one murder now charged in a separate homicide. 18-year-old Isaiah Mayhem is charged with shooting and killing 19-year-old John Holmes at a spring apartment back in July. Investigators initially arrested a different man for the murder, but he was released after his alibi was cleared. KPRC 2's Corley Peel obtained Mayhem's warrant, which details how detectives say they got the right guy this time. Corley. The warrant reveals a digital trail that connected Mayhem to the crime scene here at these apartments. And in 2023, he was accused of killing a man named Moses Gama. At that time, Mayhem was 16 years old and juvenile probation had him under supervision where he was required to wear an ankle monitor. I spoke with Gama's family today and they said, considering how violent Gama's murder was, they're not surprised that Mayhem is back in jail. A meetup to buy a PlayStation turned deadly for 21 year old Moses Gama. The father's two year old son and pregnant wife were in his car when the seller shot and killed him in May 2023. His cousin remembers like it was yesterday. Um, he felt safe going to, to go buy this console because it was in, in a nicer area. Um, but unfortunately, tragedy struck and, you know, he, his life was taken. And, um, yeah, it was just a, a very sad event for the entire family. Isaiah Mayhem was charged in Gama's murder months later as a juvenile and given an ankle monitor. More than a year later, Mayhem is now charged in a different murder, this time as an adult, in connection to 19-year-old John Holmes' shooting death. Did it surprise you that he's accused in a different murder? Absolutely not. KPRC2 obtained this surveillance video showing what detectives say appears to be mayhem running with two guns in his hands. Moments after Holmes was shot, police showed up to the apartment complex where Holmes died. According to Mayhem's warrant, detectives found social media messages showing the two had arranged to meet to trade guns and marijuana. Witnesses also described Mayhem as a shooter. After checking data from his ankle monitor, detectives determined he was at the crime scene at the time of the shooting. And Moses was a, was a great dad. Um, the son that they did had, he cared for. He, he watched over that son all the time. He always hung out with him. And, you know, just knowing that this um, new child won't get to experience that. We're still in pain. And, you know, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to the family of um, the, new, the new victim. And, you know, we're, they're going through what we went through not, not too long ago. And we're still going through it. It's, it's, it's a tragedy. And I did speak with the mother of John Holmes today. She told me that she is relieved that an arrest has been made and she is hoping for justice for her son. Records show that mayhem is being held in Montgomery County Jail on a $1 million bond. And we have more details about his arrest warrant in depth on our website at click2houston.com. Reporting live in spring, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News. Some relief for the Holmes family. Corley, thank you.